Good morning. Today we're going to do something really fun. We are doing these fun angel wings. This one right here I actually molded with paper pulp. So it took quite a while. And it's a little more fragile because it is paper pulp. And so I thought, how can I make this a little easier? So this one, we just used a texture on a heavy board. So this is what we're going to do today. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use some heavy cardboard on this one. And this is what I have. So I'm going to paint it white first, or an off-white, or you could paint it whatever color you want your wings, just to get a nice base coat on here. So I have my stencil here, and you can see I've used other colors on it too. And I am going to put a texture on this board. So what I am going to do is mix a little bit of paint. And I am using salt wash. We'll have a link on where to get the salt wash and this wonderful stencil. It was from the same place, so it even makes it easier. There's different directions in there. They say about half to half. I'm doing it a little differently, and I found that out after doing a couple sets. So it's kind of thick. Now I have my stencil laid in here. So I want to hold my stencil down and get this on, and I don't want it to be too watery. Otherwise, it'll really, really bleed through, but I really want this texture on here. I probably added about a third wash to two thirds paint. But when I played with it some, I put a little bit in a salt shaker and when my paint was wet, I am just sprinkling it on. And carefully, because you are still using a stencil and you don't want it to lift. But I want a nice texture on here. And depending how high you want your texture, you're just going to add more. And I found if you just do one layer, let it set for a sec, and then do your next layer. If you want it a lot, lot thicker, that works well. Okay, let's see how we did on this one. I'm gonna carefully pick it up. There we go, now we're gonna let this guy dry and let's do the other wing. Okay, so these are dry, I'm gonna cut them out. Okay, so I ended up being able to cut it pretty smoothly, so I didn't need to use my X-Acto on this. What I'm going to do is just use this gray ink and go around the edges. And go over the top. You might want to paint the back if it's going to be showing at all. Now I'm going to wax him. There's a little wax on these and you just want to be careful with the texture there. Make sure it's really dry. And this is just a clear wax. Then I'm going to add just a little dark wax over it. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this piece of handmade paper I had done earlier, but you could use any sort of 
cardstock, thin board, anything you could think of if you want to put it in between the wings. And I'm just going to decoupage an image over the top of it. And I'm just using a slow dry blending gel medium, but any kind of decoupage medium would work. Or you could just paint your centerpiece and stamp it or add anything you would like for the center of the wings. And this is kind of lightweight, but I'm still gonna sand it. I'm just gonna sand the edges here. What I found really works if you're working with a lightweight piece and it's hard to hold it to sand, if you put it at the very edge of your table, then you can give it a little more pressure without worrying about breaking what you're decoupaging onto. Then I'm also going to ink this to match the wings. I'm going to wax over the top of this also. Now we're going to put it all together. Okay, so I've got my three pieces done. I'm gonna put this on a hanger, but on one of the pieces, I just used a big long log and added wire for a hook. So you could do that too. I just happen to have a lot of these. So this is what I'm gonna use. I didn't want this metal part. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the paper I didn't use and I am going to decoupage the wire on the top. And what I'm gonna do is just cut this into strips, add a little bit of my gel medium to this strip of paper and I am just going to start at the bottom and just wrap it around to cover it up. Let's hot glue our wings on. So now you can decide how you want to line your wings up. So the best way I've found to do this is after I've kind of got it lined up where I think I want it. Carefully take this off. Mark that edge. And this is where I'm gonna put my hot glue and I know where I'm gonna lay that down at. So I am just gonna put some hot glue on here and I'm gonna go all the way down. Just gives it a little more stability. And then just kind of hold this here for a minute. And this is going to go right here. So I'll probably put hot glue in here or maybe just a little here and here. The hot glue doesn't want to stick to the wax as well, so I really need to do it mostly on the bare wood. I could probably add a little tab here and here and then maybe across the bottom. Okay, let's take a look. So I hope you guys had fun watching this. In the description, we're gonna have a link to where I got my angel wings and my uh, salt wash, if you're interested in that. But whatever you do, hope you try it. Have fun.